Chris Collins, Guts and Glory. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is Chris Collins, O2 Artistry. Yeah, man, we're back. Episode 37. Big shout to Burger Kang for the beats. Yeah, man, Burger Kang doing the strange thing. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're back at it. Like I said, episode 37. We just keep on moving, man. Keep on pushing forward because that's what we're doing. And this piece is a definitely a pen and ink piece. You guys know I love doing pen and ink pieces. So this particular pen and ink piece is all about... You know the story okay so here is the witch you see her powers she's all magical yeah you see the meat cleaver she's got um yeah man pretty cool stuff and if you check out this one little detail here you can see that i did add that cat tattoo the janky tattoo you guys remember that from one of the earlier episodes so yeah i did use that pretty cool huh but yeah i like how this piece turned out pretty sweet all right, so here we are, one week later. So some of you guys may have heard me say stuff about the summer of 21 being the most interesting summer of my life. Mainly, I think it's because it's a new adventure for me. Things are different for me now than they ever have been. Um, yeah, you know, the whole thing with not drinking, being technically single for four months now that's different um, people that come into your life who you know make it interesting and last but not least myself okay um, doing interesting things in my life it's not that it's good or bad or in between. It's actually all of those things, which makes it interesting to me. So, yeah. What do I say, man? I mean, I'm kind of a new man, really. And this is my adventure. This is it. Summer 21, man. Um, I'm making the best of it. And so far, it's making the best of me. So, if you like what you see, stay tuned, because the summer's not over yet. And I have a feeling it's going to get hotter and more interesting, for sure. Yeah, so, <laughs> this is a very interesting piece. So, there is something of a story that, you know, happened with this piece here on its own. So, I actually opened up this frame that I bought and inside of it was this this piece here and i hadn't i did not know that this piece was going to be in the frame but it was so yeah that's pretty cool thumbs up buddies <laughs> ah, so yeah anyway we get started on this joint right here and you can just see that i'm uh just sketching out some stuff man I'm, all of this is just like freestyle you know no i'm not overthinking it at all so yeah this is a redirected piece actually and it's i've never done a redirected piece quite like this before big shout to burger king again for the dope beats appreciate it but uh yeah i've never really done a redirected piece like this before but it just came to me in the moment and i knew i had the right tools to make it happen and I mean, it's just crazy that this pe this actual picture was like turned around in the frame, so you couldn't even see it. Just rocking it, man, with these uh, little no additions. Really like just not overthinking art, you know, sometimes. Just going for no uh, whatever way. I think looks good. And I think a lot of times artists Ain't get caught no up and trying to be perfect and that's you know, fine you know if that's what you want to do me um i like to just be in the moment and kind of capture whatever comes you know in the moment and like i said i hate to 
use the word too much, but I, I, I'm not trying to overthink everything with the process. And in any way, check out these Sharpie markers. I found this at Walmart. It's sort of like a construction man's Sharpie. Is that what we should call it? <laughs> An industrial Sharpie? I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, man, uh, that Sharpie came in real handy. I love how, you know, it applied so much ink down um, at one time. You can see here, it did the job. It did the trick for sure. So yeah, uh, like I said, there is some symbolism in here. The birds, I don't know. Maybe you could kind of tie it in a little bit. If you know how, drop some uh, comments and let me know what you think. But yeah, man, redirected, um, recycled. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I just say redirected because we basically take something and redirect it. But it is recycling also. And um, some may see it as disrespectful, like what I'm doing here uh, by painting over the original artist's name or their tag. Um, I don't paint all the way over top of it. You'll see, you can still see it a little bit. Uh, but it's just one of those things, man. You know, like, say what you want. But this is my art now. It was your art. But I found your art in a frame facing the other way. So nobody even knew it was in there. But I found it. And I took it. And now I'm making it something. So you're welcome. How's that? Is that how I should handle that or no, no way. I don't know I, I really don't know how to handle this to be honest be it's just one of those things some people might get pissed off about Not it and today. other people don't care and some no people way. love it so you know let me know what you think in the comments Ain't but yeah just make no sure you keep way. it respectful I always ask Ain't that but yeah man this is a really neat piece like it's it's basically Not like a mixed today. media piece I mean, no I've got way. some a little tad bit of watercolor going on in there. Uh, not much at all. I've got, I mean, the original artist, I think, used acrylic on this. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I guess it is. I, I, I guess it's acrylic. And uh, you see I'm adding watercolor here. It's pen and ink. Um, and then you've got the whole redirected aspect of it. So it's really all over the place, which I... I think it might end up being one of the favorite pieces in the collection, to be honest. I'm just saying, a lot of people like stuff like this. Uh, you might not. But yeah, and it also has a lot to do with the story itself. I mean, so it's a dope piece. Really enjoyed working on this piece. It was just fun. It's like, you know, I was doing something different, very experimental. And I might be coming off very uh, long-winded here, but I don't know if you guys ever watched entire episodes of Bob Ross or not. So who knows? You might have shouts of Bob Ross. And uh, you see here, I'm getting funny with the finger painting. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying to keep it fun, guys. Uh, so, yeah. This is the final piece. And I think it turned out pretty cool, man. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, got to add that final touch. Say what you want about it, guys. It is what it is. But you can let me know. And another thing uh, I did differently in this piece is I actually tagged the top of the piece right here. I have Ain't never no done that way. in anything I've ever done before. So I was like, you know what? what this need. is the perfect piece to do that in because I was Not just breaking today. new ground.
Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy now. Back at it with another pen and ink. Of course. And uh, this one, man. This is another interesting piece. And <laughs> it's just pretty nuts, actually, how it goes down. But yeah, big shout to Burger King for the beats. Appreciate it. No doubt. But yeah, I mean, okay, so I start off with this pen and ink here, and I'm trying to create like a storyboard, you know, piece for the collection. And, you know, I wanted to add just a little bit of watercolor to it. I actually drew this on watercolor paper, but I didn't want to like overpower it with watercolor. So I just wanted to highlight things like the magic and the blood and that was uh, in the cloud and that's it and uh, just keep it simple like that but um yeah so <laughs> everything was going pretty good for a while and uh, it was so good in fact like I was really happy with this piece and I was just like eh I kind of but you know what I did kind of doubt my drawing of, of my character here uh, the artist character I did doubt that drawing I didn't like it but anyway what happened was I screwed up guys so I had to cut this out I had to salvage whatever I could but I screwed up because the hand that's chopped off is actually the wrong hand that's chopped off so I screwed up and I don't know if you understand what I'm saying if you don't it's okay but anyway so I salvaged whatever I could from that piece and I cut it out with an exacto knife. And then I turned around and I glued that piece onto another piece of watercolor, a flat piece of watercolor with nothing on it. And then I just went and painted it on it like I did here. So I think it ended up looking pretty cool in the end. And thankfully I was able to salvage a pretty dope piece of art in my opinion. So it just works out, man, you know, like if it's meant to work out like that, it's going to work out like that. So it is what it is. And here we go. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, give the video a like and uh, drop some comments about how dope it is. Thanks. OK, so onward to 50. Um, my homie Jeff coined that phrase on one of the earlier vlogs when I said, you know, that. I was working towards this goal of 50 pieces for my collection at my next art show. I think I'm doing pretty good, guys. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm over halfway there. So I feel like the momentum is going to carry on and get me through. And I'm going to meet this goal. I'm going to do it. And I know I always say stuff like, you know, well, if I don't meet it, don't be mad at me. And don't be disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to meet my goal. And if I don't, it is what it is, but I'm going to meet my goal. So, onward to 50. Can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, come on, can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, that's right, can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, Woo. can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, come on, can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, that's right, can't you see, got a fine woman next to me, Woo. Can't you see? Got a fine woman next to me. 